I don't know if it's supposed to be a fancy G, the 8, but this is the Bloomin' 8. And this is the world's first color e-ink photo frame, aka a Spectra 6 enabled e-paper panel. And today we're going to crack it open. Look at this. You know, we haven't really got any major photo frames ever on the channel. We've had display panels like the Mana Clue by Livecraft, but this is looking really nice. So in the box, as we already showed you guys, you got some screws as well as some anchors. And this is for different applications like drywall, etc., where screws don't really thread into very well. And you got a C to C, which is very useful. A lot of manufacturers are going C to C recently instead of full-size USB to USB-C. So let's crack this open. Wow, look at this. This is gorgeous. You have a complete metal outer frame with 45 degree angles. You have a thick, almost paper mache compressed cardstock on the inside here with a 45 degree beveled angle that goes down to the screen itself, the 13.3 inch screen. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at that. The, the inner frame actually shifts around. This is so I mean, it is real, but this is so real, the way it looks. And of course, they're using Spectra instead of Gallery or Kaleido. If you guys don't know, Spectra is the top level color screen you can buy to this very day in the world of e-paper. There is no better than Spectra. It is the absolute top. It is slow to refresh. But for things, the exact use case application like this, which is a photo frame, it is a stasis mode display panel, you cannot use any other better technology. Gallery is used for high quality but slow refresh, and on the flip side, the Kaleido screens are low quality, fast refresh. This one is basically no refresh and the highest possible quality. And yes, we will do a video on Spectra versus Kaleido versus Gallery. Now looking at the back here, you'll see that this is pretty much a full frame. You'll see that the frame itself is connected with these kind of support beams that are screwed in with some Phillips heads. And you do have a 10,000 milliamp battery. So this thing is going to last. And you do have made in China right here and all the information, five volt battery power, etc. They give you a lot of different places to hang it from the middle from the middle of the landscape version, portrait, and two landscapes to prevent it from kind of rocking left and right. You do have an LED indicator, a button, a reset, and a micro SD card slot next to the USB-C. Now we did not put this in, we're just going to see what the capacity is out of the gates on the micro SD just to get an idea. So we cannot confirm if this is final or not, but the card inserted into the unit in a factory sealed box is a 32 gig. Worry not, this is extremely normal. This is how Spectra operates. It goes through a multi-stage refresh calibration, and that adds all the respective colors needed to display the picture. We will show you guys the full review, of course, and all of its kind of idiosyncrasies and quirks as it go. But for now, this is the Bloomin' 8 e-ink photo frame. This is using Spectra 6. It is labeled a smart photo frame. We're gonna be scanning the QR code. We're gonna be integrating this into the full review coming up in a future video. But for now, this is everything that comes in the box. And let us know down below in the comments what you guys think. Mm -hmm.